Hey y'all, I'm Chan and you're watching Made by Chan. And today, I think this is my first haul I have ever done on my channel before. <laughs> my first fabric haul, I did do a thrift haul like way back in the day, but I got some goodies and I wanted to show y'all. <laughs> oh my God. I have done one on my Instagram before, but if you're not following me there, you should because that's who gets all the sneak peeks. <laughs> but we're just gonna jump right in because I got a few things I gotta get through and so we're gonna go with that. So the first fabric I have is this beautiful like yellow gingham organza. If I can, I will link all the fabrics below, but I did a trip to Joann's, which was not healthy. <laughs> Well, no, it was planned. I was like, I'm gonna go fabric shopping. <laughs> and I think I got about three yards of this. I have no real plans for this fabric. I just thought it was beautiful. It is a wee bit transparent. I don't know if you can tell that, like I can see you right now. <laughs> but I think I want to make, I'm gonna make nine. I talked about wanting to make a princess seam dress. And then I think I popped on the screen this Oscar de la Renta for Bella Hadid <laughs> white Alexander Wang dress. So basically what I'm thinking is like princess seams with a flowy tiered ruffle skirt. It's like, it's a, it's a short skirt, but it's got some volume to it. I think this would be perfect for it. But really honestly, I, I saw it and I fell in love and I said, I need to own that. So, you know, whatever I end up making <laughs> will be great, <laughs> but I have this and I really like it. This is not fabric, but in case you don't know about this, I use, uh, what would we call this? I use tracing paper to trace all of my patterns. I have recently switched to the grid kind because the normal non-gridded kind is has been sold out. This, is this the actual bulk? Yeah. Um, so it is the Pellen Craft and Home Decor Interfacing Tracing Cloths. And this one is number 810 with the grid. I can't remember the name of the one that I get without the grid, but it's been sold out anyway, so you can't get it. <laughs> but this is what I use to trace all my patterns. I find it very helpful. Or if I draft my blocks by hand and so this is helpful now i will say there is a little bit of a discrepancy with the grid <laughs> it is not a perfect one inch square but it's pretty close so if you're new to pattern making and making your own blocks or tracing i do like this a lot i picked up some of this this is i didn't i just got what whatever was left on here but i probably say i should really just buy a big like bolt of it but <laughs> I have just been cheap. I'm just gonna be honest, but it goes on sale for 50% off all the time. So if you're interested in it, pick it up. Okay, so this was supposed to be a wearable toile fabric that I just picked up to match the thickness of the fabric I actually wanna use. I like it, it's fine. But then I recalled that I had already bought a wearable toile fabric and I had just forgotten. <laughs> So this is also from Joann's. I'm pretty sure you can't get this because it was in the discount clearance section, but it's just a lightweight cotton. Uh, it was an exclusive collection by Maggie Interios. Interios? And, mm, I'll, put, I'll put the name on the screen. But it's a 12 for, I want to make the float on top. It just came out, I think last year or the year before. I'm not totally sure, but I know it's fairly new because there's not a lot of reviews or anything on it. But I just thought it was really cute. And I, I told you all, I was trying to make more tops this year, <laughs> more practical, ready to wear. And that was also on my make nine. I just got this to play around with. I think I still need to wash this. So we're gonna keep that right there. This was the actual <laughs> toile fabric I was supposed to use, but I forgot. This I picked up, if you live in the DFW Metroplex, there is a, what would we call it? Like a, like a craft, uh, it's like a thrift store, but just for craft supplies. It has craft and sewing supplies and whatnot. It's in Denton, it's called Thistle. And so I drove there and they have like all these bundles of fabric for a good amount. And so I got this for probably like less than $5. Um, I just thought it was like a funky print and I kind of like that. <laughs> so let me open this up for you all to see. I have about two yards of it and it looked old, which I also liked. Yeah, it says it's by Marcus Brothers Textiles. I kind of like a little vintage -y flair. And this had that, so I was like, this will also make a cool float on top. I need to stop buying fabric. I did want to make more than one though, so like if I had, if I'll have three. <laughs> so if I have three, that's okay. This next piece of fabric that I got, I'm really just using for lining fabric. They're all out of 
The lining fat. So Joann's released a collection of lining fabrics that was nude for all shades of nudes, but they're all out right now. I don't. I have no inside sources, but when I was talking to the people at the counter, I think they're gonna relaunch that or just restock it, but I know things are behind. And so this was a fabric that's very similar to the lining fabric. That was the closest that matched my skin tone. It's a little shiny, but I think I'm going to use it whenever I make the dress out of the yellow gingham or just when I need linings, period, and whatnot. So, but I think this is just technically um, like a silk satin uh, blend. And I think that was what I bought it for, but I Oh, a dress that's coming up. I was like, I bought this for a project. I'll show you. I'll show you. We'll get. We'll come back to this. <laughs> Put that right there. Okay. Then I also made a stop at a quilter shop in town that sells Rifle Paper Co. fabrics. And so whenever Rifle Paper Co. releases a new collection, and I'm too anxious to wait to buy it online, I just make the drive to the quilter shop. So I got this beautiful. <laughs> Floral cotton, so nice. I wish Rifle would come back out with cotton lawns because sometimes the fabrics are kind of thick. <laughs> so this is what I want to really make the fold on top out of. So this will be my real dress, real dress, my real top, and then the rest will be the twalls. But I didn't want to cut my nice fabric that I drive an hour to go get. Do I drive an hour? Like 45 minutes. I just thought the colors of this were beautiful. I love floral. I got two, no, I got one and three quarters of a yard of it. Excellent decision, excellent. It did fade a little bit in the wash, but I'm okay with that. And I washed it on cold, so if you're curious, and I've washed other things by Rifle, and they fade a little bit, but not too much. This is very soft, I'm in love. I'm gonna try not to touch my face because I have makeup on. <laughs> Next pick up this rayon also by rifle paper co i just thought this was beautiful it's also a floral print it has excellent drape to it i think i got almost three yards of this i want to make the i should have put this on the make knife um i want to make the lydia naomi milkmaid dress i'm pretty sure i want to make this out of it but I also have another like self-drafted pattern in my head, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm gonna make the most made dress out of this. Okay, I haven't even talked about the weather situation in Texas. So <laughs> it's starting to warm up. We all have collectively decided that we think for real spring is happening. We had another freeze last week, but I need to start making spring clothes. So I need to start making plans for <laughs> my spring wardrobe and whatnot. <sighs> this and my float on tops are gonna be some of the first things I start making because I was like, the weather's changing. <sighs> you need some cute little things to wear with some jeans and whatnot. So that's what we're doing. So this, you should be seeing on this channel in the next couple months. So I really like that other pattern <laughs> and I got it in black as well. <laughs> I just thought these were so beautiful and they make a canvas too. I was really tempted to buy the canvas so I can make a tote bag. I may go back, I may go back. <laughs> and do that. I also got one and three quarters of a yard of this. This one I actually plan on redoing my Rose Cafe bustier top with. Yeah, that's what I said. I bought all the supplies for that. However, I forgot to buy a, I think it's called a detachable zipper. So I need to go back and get that. <laughs> but I wanna try it again and make that. I did, I do think, I don't think I'm making this up. I do think I did see someone else make, excuse it if you can hear the plane overhead. Um, I think I saw someone else make a, a bustier top out of this fabric, but I'm not totally sure, but I just thought it was really cute and springy and I'm gonna add a little ruffle at the bottom too, I think, so it'll be cute. I, if you wanna see that video, I'll make one, but I know that pattern's very popular, so I don't wanna like beat a dead horse or like redo what's already been done. There's not a lot of videos about it, but there it's like very popular on Instagram, but I'm gonna attempt it. Actually, what I'm thinking now that I'm here is that I could make a wearable toile out of, no, 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 never mind, no. Well, I could, I could make this my wearable toile because I can buy more of this. And then the float on top, like the pattern's literally sitting over there on the floor. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think, I, I don't think I'm gonna like really for real need a toile. I don't need three of the same shirt, so we'll see. I'm, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think that's the plan. Okay, next. I limited myself to four Rifle Paper Co. fabrics because 
I, I could tell I was gonna do some damage. I got this beautiful linen, <laughs> cotton. <laughs> it's the one with the blue background. I don't remember the name of this print, but it has blue background and just like little lemon trees all over it with the blue birds and has white flowers. I thought this would make a really cute dress too. I was thinking if I do master the Rose Cafe Bustier top, this could make a good Rose Cafe Bustier dress, but with a long skirt. So it could be like a flowy summer dress that could just throw on. We'll see. Or I was thinking about um, making the Lydia Naomi dress with this and whatnot. I just see that I see this, my vision is I see this as a summer dress somehow and whatnot. But I'm trying not to make a dress that's too trendy so I don't feel out of trend next year if cottage core, which is my style. <laughs> I like very feminine looks and what, despite what's happening right now. <laughs> I like very feminine looks <laughs> and dresses. And so I'm trying to think like past trendy and like what will still make me feel good and not outdated in the long run. And I just feel like this speaks to me. I've been wanting a lemon print dress for a while. Not particularly this type of lemon. I want my lemons bigger, but I think we can do something with this. I also, so I really enjoyed the Joanne Spring collection. <laughs> I went into the store for something else and one day I was like, oh yeah, next time I get paid, I'm just going to buy everything. <laughs> These next two are the same, but in different colors. They are, I think that we're pretending this is a crinkle rayon but it's also a gingham print. It's also very see-through. <laughs> and so I got it in blue and in green. Now, I love them both. And this is why I bought that lining fabric because it is see-through. But my plan for this, I would like to make the Rosary Apparel Rosa dress, but she has a hack of it where she makes a smock dress. And I want to make two dresses like that out of this. However, I would like to mix it with uh, the Contour Affair or the Couture Affair. I have to check, but I think it's Contour. Uh, she has an exposed ruffle tiered dress tutorial. And so I want the top to be the Rosa hack and the bottom to be the tiered ruffles on one of them. I have not decided which one. I know that was a mouthful, but you'll see my vision come together. <laughs> and so that's my plan for these. We'll see like what order everything comes in, but I'll definitely make a video showing me, showing you all how I do that. But I love them both and I couldn't decide. And if they would have had a pink, I would have bought that too. <laughs> so <laughs> I got them both <laughs> and I like it. Also, if you didn't know, I think I've talked about this in the video before. I know I've talked about it on Instagram. You can ask for the bolt at Joann's. So this is how I store my fabric that doesn't fit in my cabinets or my boxes. And this is just very helpful for me and my organization because it's getting a little overflowing. <laughs> and then this last piece is technically a sample, but I'm going to buy it. So I want to show you. <laughs> So this fabric I have admired for some time. Is that the back or the front? That's showing you the, that's the front. I literally just got it in the mail today. But it's half of a meter. That's, this is the front. <laughs> this is it, oh no. <laughs> this is the front. So it's a cotton lawn by William Morris and you can only get it in the UK. So I ordered this as a sample because they, none of the, I was gonna call them brokers, but none of the retailers I've seen offer a swatch of it. So I just ordered a half a meter because no matter what I do, the shipping from the UK is gonna be expensive. And I was like, I don't wanna buy five yards of this if I can't like fully check it out. I had liked it before. It's not a new fabric print at all. It does come in various color ways though. And then I saw a blogger talk about it and then it sold out. And then I was like, well, I gotta get it. So, <laughs> and she said it reminded her of Dior, like vintage Dior. And I kind of see what she was saying with that too. And so I think, I don't know what kind of dress, I kind of have something in mind because I do want to show off the print, but I also want something that's like, like a flat pleated situation and whatnot. It would, it would take a bit of construction on my end. But I want to grab it before it sells out completely. So I am going to order more of this. And a part of me is very tempted to make something just a top out of this give me your suggestions i only have half a meter but it's 60 inches wide it has to be a small top like definitely we're talking tank or something but i think it'd be beautiful <sighs> it 
that's it. <laughs> that is my spring fabric haul. I am trying to be very good and not buy any more fabric, even though I do have one more plan, but that's not till later in March. I have a class I'm taking on how to how to tailor bottoms basically and I want to make the lander pants so I'll probably buy some denim at some point but those are my spring sewing plants that was not the initial <laughs> theme of this video <laughs> but these are all my spring fabrics that I just bought and I was like this is probably my spring sewing plants <laughs> we'll see how successful I am um, we'll reflect back on this in a couple months I'm trying to plan appropriately so it'll probably be tops first and then dresses because you never know what to dress. <laughs> like it's all over the place. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give it a like, and also comment down below what you think of my spring fabric haul and my sewing plans. Any patterns you think I should check out? I'm always open to getting new patterns, even though I need to chill out. I just use the ones I have. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm so excited about my new braids. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later.